Hello? Um. Yeah? What's going on? Sarah committed suicide. No way. Absolutely no way. She wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that. She, no, no, she wouldn't do that. Huh? I said time's up, hun. Oh. Has it been an hour already? Sure has. You didn't really talk much today. I said stuff. Let me rephrase. You didn't open up much today. Sorry. You know this process doesn't really work unless you participate. I know that. It's just... Just... You said time's up, right? Okay. There's a stream. I'm on a beach. And there's moonlight. And this giant wave, like a tsunami, washes over. And then it's daylight. The sun. And I can't get past the sun. Ever. I did a little research on the dream that we talked about last week. The sunlight and the moonlight tend to signify a move to a higher position in life. While the tsunami might suggest needing to overcome physical or emotional stress to get through. Really? Did you get any further? Um, yeah, actually. I'm being drugged down into the water and I'm surrounded by beings. I can't quite discern what they are. Turtles, maybe? It's getting harder to breathe. But then I end up at the sun. Again, the water. Fear of becoming overcome by emotion. Suggests that you need to take it slow in some areas of your life. Slow, huh? Of course, it can also mean that you're sheltering yourself from certain areas of your life. Then you're really going to love this sharp turn. I'm in a forest. And I feel a presence this time. I think maybe it's her. I see dead bodies everywhere. And the forest keeps changing. That is a sharp turn. Forests are usually supposed to symbolize a place where life thrives. Thrives? Yes, you seem to have stumbled onto quite the juxtaposition there. I want to see where this goes, Alex. Has there been more? I'm 20,000 leagues under the sea, or at least it feels like I am, and I'm drowning. And nothing that I do pulls me back up to the surface. And just as I've given up, I'm back in the forest. And then I end up in the sun. I want to try something. Okay. There's a technique. Eye movement desensitization process and reprocessing, EMDR. It is a form of psychotherapy that has been used to treat PTSD. The patient is asked to recall distressing images while generating a type of bilateral sensory input. By what? Side to side movements, hand gestures, something like that. That sounds a little too Hollywood for me. Yeah, a lot of former child actors such as myself have used it for past traumas. You should really think about it. It might help you to discover what your dream has been about. Close your eyes and just breathe. Let me know when you're ready and we'll begin. Ready. Start with the sun. I'm there. Go further. 
I think I can remember. Don't think, just walk. I'm in space. I'm in a forest. Finally. I know you're hurting, and I'm sorry for that. I never meant to hurt you. I, I just did what I thought was right for me at the time, to end my pain. Stop worrying about what you could have done to prevent it or to help me. I should have tried harder. I see that now. There are things that I could have done to make myself happy. And that's what I want for you. Make peace with this. I love you. You have great things ahead of you. I've seen them. All the possible futures for you. And the best ones start today. Don't lose yourself like I did. Open the box, grieve, and know that we will be reunited in the next life. I love you eternally. Hey guys, welcome to Art Therapy. I'm really glad you all could be here. First things first for the newcomers, this is a judgment-free zone. I started this group after my best friend committed suicide. It took me a really long time to make peace with that and to find the beauty in life again. But now that I have, I wanna help others do the same. Know that no matter what you create, it will be beautiful. Let's begin.